Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys another makeup video. Today's video is a complete review on this palette. I've already done my face makeup, so I'm gonna spend the entire time focusing on this for you guys. It launched, I wanna say, at the end of May or beginning of June, and I just picked it up the other day. Sorry about the clinging, that's my new puppy. He's super cute. That's my new puppy. He doesn't know what I'm doing, it's okay. I think you guys can hear that. To start off with this palette, it retails for $13.99. I picked mine up at Ulta, and I think I even used points on it so it wasn't too expensive. <laughs> He's a cute. It comes with, I believe when I counted, it was eight mattes and four shimmers, which is a nice variety. I think that it's actually a really good selection of colors in here. I like that there are some different kinds of shimmer shades as well as a ton of different colorful mattes. There is a lot of neutrals in here, so I feel like this could definitely be a fun summer palette. And I've had this for multiple days, have not even swatched it. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and do some swatches. So these are the swatches of the palette. I swatched every single shade for you. And I will be completely honest, I am very, very impressed with how these shadows performed. I wasn't too impressed with these lighter shades, but then again, I'm also very pale, so that could probably be part of it. This shimmer right here actually turned out super glittery. It was called Main Squeeze, but the rest of the shimmers, except for this one, this one's also a little glittery, but these two for sure are definitely very, very metallic and very beautiful. The yellow matte here wasn't the best yellow I've ever used, but then again, yellow is a really hard color to perfect. Um, but these four mattes down here, the coral, I believe, ice pop, um, and then these two browns, these were really, really pretty matte. So I am very excited to give this palette a try. I think if I can find a really cheap, affordable kind of palette that works really well, that I think it would be a good addition to my collection. So I don't have to spend $45 on an eyeshadow palette, even though we all know I will. Let's just go ahead and jump straight into the look. I haven't decided what look I'm doing yet, but I am very drawn towards these pink shades. So I think it's going to have something to do with that for sure. As usual, we're going to pretend that I wash my makeup brushes, but we are going to go in with a Morphe blend brush. I'm just going to go ahead and start with this shade Sherbert and use this as my transition shade today. First problem we've occurred is the amount of fallout on this is crazy and I'm not one to dig into my makeup. I usually go in with a very light hand but this is insane. So just so y'all know the mattes will have kick up and that's just the first shadow. So while the swatches really intrigued me, the kick up is not my thing. Not a complete deal breaker with the palette though. I do use like Anastasia shadows which have crazy kick up, but this is a lot. So I just went and popped Sherbert all over my lid as my transition and I think we're gonna go in with even another one, Berry Ice right here. And hello, can I help you? So I'm going to go in with another transition shade today and we're going to go in with Berry Ice, I believe is what it's called. And this is just a nice mauve transition. And this one I was even lighter than I usually am and I had less kick up. So we're going to go ahead and pop that right over Sherbert. It's not horrible though. I don't hate it. Definitely don't hate it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe M433, and we're going to go ahead and pop in some Coral Punch into my crease. And that's going to be our first crease shade. It's always nice finding affordable makeup that's like actually super, super good because it's nice to have alternatives to expensive products. Like there are some things like foundation, mascara, I will pretty much only use high-end products just because of formulas and how it looks and performs. I just haven't found good ones from the drugstore, but eyeshadow is one I am willing to play around with and I really like this palette so far. Like look how pigmented that is. Next, I'm taking that same M433 and we're going to dip into Ice Pop and this is going to be popped right over Coral. A little bit more on the outer third though. This is beautiful. Like, I'm digging this, honestly. This is so cute. 
It's a look. I wish you guys could have just seen that. He brought his squeaky toy in and then he dropped it and ran out and then he ran back in and grabbed the toy and ran out with it. It was so funny and now he's back on the bed. Moving on, I'm taking my Morphe M124 brush. This is my favorite brush ever and I'm dipping into Strawberry Lemonade, which is a nice, beautiful shimmer. And again, we're experiencing some fallout, but it looks like it's so pigmented. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't even have to use Fix Plus with this. This is beautiful. I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Okay, so the shimmers are crazy pigmented. I didn't have to use a setting spray or adhesive or anything with it. They just went right on. And that's very, very impressive because even high-end shadows, sometimes you need that extra little stick to them. But these performed so well. Like, look at that. Look at my eyeballs. They're all shiny. I don't know if I want to go with a brown or if I want to go in with some more of the coral color. I think I'm going to go ahead and try Sweet Tea right here. And we're going to go ahead and buff that into the lower lash line. For mascara today, I'm just going to quick pop on some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm not even going to put lashes on today just because it is such a laid back video. I mean, we got the messy bun and everything. For lipstick today, I just popped on a nice new lipstick from Urban Decay. I used the color Fuel. It is from the Heat Collection. I really enjoy this color. I think it's a nice universal nude, so that's what I did for lips. But now it's time for our final thoughts on the palette. Like I said in the beginning, this palette retails for $13.99. It is discount eligible at Ulta, so you can use like $3.50 off coupons and stuff on it. I was a little skeptical about this, and I am still skeptical about some of the shades. The yellow, this glittery shade up here, I'm kind of a little iffy about. I'd have to play around with it a little bit more to really determine if I like it or not. But... From the colors we tried, we tried again a bunch of these up here, some of these middle shades, and of course that shimmer right there. I feel like the look came out extremely, extremely well. I feel like it is super pigmented, very, very much unlike some of their other palettes. I've tried like their 24 karat nudes, I've tried some of their other kind of mini palettes like that. And this is the first one from Maybelline I can confidently say I recommend and I very much enjoyed using it. I think that this was a very nice, unique palette. I love their packaging that they did. Um, I do not like the plastic that it's made out of, but then again, you know, there's even a high-end stuff made out of this. I just feel like it looks like super scratched up even when you barely use it. I do like the little title thing they put there, the little lemonade logo, and then of course the yellow box to pull it all together. I think that was done very, very well. I like how they laid out the shadows. I like that there's the colorful ones in the middle and then some neutrals on the outside. And of course, I like that some of the shades you would probably reach for most are the bigger pans. I know some palettes make like the most used color the smallest pan and that's so freaking frustrating. Like, oh my gosh. But I think Maybelline definitely hit it for this one. I very much recommend this palette if you're in the market for a nice affordable pigmented palette. This is probably your guy. It worked really well for me. I feel like this video went really quickly. It is, I don't know, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm curious as to how the other shadows perform and I think I'm definitely gonna try this one out for a little while. I don't really know what else to say about it. I feel like this video has been pretty short and straightforward, but I enjoyed this palette a lot. I had a great experience with it. Maybelline is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands as far as foundations go and even some of their mascaras are all right, but they really hit it with this palette. I know they have a soda pop palette coming out soon. I wasn't gonna get it, but now that there's the new Anastasia palette, I wanna kind of review the two together. I feel like that would be a pretty interesting combination. Well, that is all for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more makeup reviews. I try and post at least weekly right now. Feel free to check out all of my social media links in the description below. My pupper that you might have briefly seen on this side of the camera does have his own Instagram, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll link that below too, so. I think that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, guys.